Hi guys, welcome to Philogix PBR Painter add-on tutorial. In this video, I'm using the latest Philogix PBR Painter 3.1.0 add-on on Blender 3.1.2. Now I will guide you about the content using layer image, how to paint on the image layer and manipulate the brush manager effectively. Let's start with the tutorial content. First we need to create a material for this object, I'm using the monkey object. Click on Create Plex Shader. Here there are two workflow options, Metallic and Specular. These are two popular workflows in game making and filmmaking. Add-on Philogix PBR Painter will support these two workflows. Next we need to select the channels we want to work with in this material. Here I want to work with the channels, Base Color, Metallic, Roughness, Height and Normal. Then press OK. So we have a new material ready to use for the add-on. I want to rename it, Test. Next, in the Paint Layers tab, we can set the channels using the Kahif icon located to the right of the Paint Layers tab. You can add or remove channels from your workflow. To work with the image layer, we must first create a material layer. Here I will create a custom material layer that can be customized to all channels of the material layer. OK, I will set this layer to Test. In this custom material layer there will be all the channels specified in the channel setting I talked about earlier. Base color, metallic, roughness, height, normal and layer mask. Layer mask alone as a fixed channel of the material layer, it controls the visible area of the material layer. I want to create an image layer in the base color channel by clicking the create image layer icon here. OK. When selecting the image layer here, at the bottom will appear the settings for the selected layer. There are two parts, the UV settings section will show the UV settings of the layer, and the parameters section allows us to work with that layer. Today we will learn the parameters of the image layer. There will be two panels, the image panel will control the settings of the image, and the paint panel will allow them to work with brushes and save the image. In image panel we can select image from image data both current blender file, or you can download images from outside the hard drive with the open button. Below the image preview there will be three important settings of the image. The input color space specifies the display color space of the image, the alpha mode property will be needed when we use images that contain channels that control specific properties of the material. And channels output specifies the display channels of the image, including RGB plus alpha will display RGB color and alpha will control the display area of the image layer, in this option the alpha channel of the image will function as a layer mask. The remaining options allow the display of individual channels of the image such as RGB, alpha, red, green and blue channels. Now I will create a new image for the image layer. Now the image layer will show black, because like I said about the channel's output property in front, the RGB plus alpha option will let the image show RGB channel and display area as alpha, and I created new an image with RGB as black and alpha equal to 1 so this layer will show all black and overlap the layers below. The purpose of the paint is to paint on the image layer so I will recreate another image with an alpha of 0. OK. So we can start painting by switching to the paint panel and pressing the paint button. At the paint button you can see the message is unsaved, i.e. the current image has not been saved. Now if you do not perform the save action, the image data may be lost. And in the layer slot will also show the layer type icon highlighted in red to warn this. To save the image we use the menu to the right of the paint button. Now I want to save the image to my hard drive so I will choose save as. Select the path, set the parameters and press save a image. Next about the brush manager, click on the brush icon on the left here to select a brush. Philogix PBR Painter has some basic brushes here. At the bottom of the paint button there are some basic brush settings.
If you want to install the brush in depth, we need to go to the tool section of the property window. And for brushes, you can expand the brush management function by clicking on the gear icon to the right of the brush name. Here have some functions like save, delete, import and export brush. Save brush allows us to save the current bush to the add-ons brush library. I will rename the brush and press save as. So we've saved a new brush to the brush library. The brush icon is black. If you want the icon to be the icon of the texture we need to expand the texture section in the brush settings and save. Every time you press save brush, all brush parameters will be saved to the library, and will be recalled when the brush is used next time. In addition, we can export the brush to the outside with a brush file with a PLXB extension, you can share the brush for other Philogix PRB Painter users. Now can use brush PLXB by importing brush. So I have done some basic steps to use image layer. Hope everyone can effectively use image layer D Dare to create great works. Thank you everyone for watching, and don't forget to give feedback so that the following video tutorials can be made better.